Welcome to Yucanic. Today here in Yucanic we have a 2017 Jaguar XE and on this Jaguar XE we have our check engine light is on. This is a 3.0 V6 supercharged engine in this vehicle and we are going to read our code and see what it is telling us. So we have the Yucan 2 hooked up to the OBD2 port to do the reading. We're going to go through diagnostic and then we're um, the uh, engine, or not the engine, the ignition is on in the run position but not started. Hit the Jaguar, smart VIN, and then we're going to do diagnostic. We are going to select the control module instead of scanning the whole vehicle. And we're going to select the powertrain, and then we're going to read the code. And we have a P2565, which is the turbocharger boost control position sensor A. Um, we have an issue with that sensor. There can be a various amount of reasons of why this sensor may not be working. But to start with, we are going to go over the process of how you would if you decide to replace it. After you've done other looking, like whether the wire has been frayed of some sort, critters have got in there and destroyed your wiring. So to start with, you'll pop the hood to the vehicle, and you'll need to pop this cover off, your Jaguar um, cover. And when we get that cover popped off, this is the sensor that we are going for to remove and to replace. So pop this uh, little vacuum hose off and just be able to be nice and easy on prying and popping it up to get you the space. Then we have this connection here, and that connection you just need to pull the tab down a little bit and then you'll be able to pull this, the connection back. Give yourself some more freedom. We'll just unhook this connection and then we have two size 8 millimeter bolts to be removed and then we'll be able to remove that. fairly long bolt to hold on that one little sensor. So we were able to get that one. Need a different combination to get the one down there. Okay. So was able to get those two bolts out and now you'll be able to remove the sensor for the replacement of the said sensor. We have, when we put the new sensor in, this has motion in it. You want to make sure that you put this new sensor in and you line it up with the, uh, the component that's inside there that the two tabs go up in the top here. So you'll get your new sensor, if that's come to your diagnosis, and then be able to install it. We've got some plastic pins that we need to line up in there, and then also it should line up with that connector in there. So then you'll just uh, tighten the two number eight bolts. Okay, that is on uh, good and snug. Now, just make sure we rehook our electric lines back up. The vacuum line goes above it. Put everything back in place and 
we're done, you can go ahead and put your cover back on. And then you'll need to make sure that your um, ignition is on in the run position so that you can go in and clear out the codes. And we're just going to clear the code because we replaced the sensor. So the code has been replaced. You can go ahead and start your vehicle, run it a few cycles, run it like you normally would driving down the road, and make sure that that light doesn't come back on. And if it does, there's other things you may need to be looking into, um, whether wires or something's not working right. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.